Hello students, welcome to Grade 10 Biology, Topic Natural Resources. Natural Resources Introduction Natural Resources includes total natural environment that support human life and contribute to the production of necessities and comforts to mankind. So natural resources are components of atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. On the basis of abundance and availability, the natural resources are of two types, inexhaustible, exhaustible natural resources. Inexhaustible natural resources. These are in plenty and cannot be exhausted by man's conception. For example, air, sand, clay, etc. It gets affected by the overpopulation of mankind. Exhaustible natural resources. These are limited and can get exhausted over a period of time. For example, coal and petroleum, etc. Management of natural resources. A system of controlling the use of natural resources in such a way as to avoid their wastage and to use them in the most effective way is called management of natural resources. Why, why do we need to manage our natural resources? We need to manage our natural resources because of the following reasons. First one is the resources of the earth are limited because of the rapid increase in human population, the demand for resources is increasing day by day. The proper management can ensure that the natural resources are used judiciously so that they fulfill the needs of present generation and also loss for the generations to come. The proper management of natural resources takes into consideration long term perspective and prevents their exploitation to help to help for short term gains the proper management can ensure equitable distribution of natural resources so that all the people can benefit from the development of these resources the proper management will take into consideration the damage caused to the environment during the extraction or use of the natural resources and find ways and means to minimize this damage. Conservation of wildlife. It is very important to conserve wildlife to maintain the ecological balance in nature and to preserve the gene pool. Some of the measures to the taken for the conservation of wildlife are given below. Law should be made to impose a total ban on the pitching or capturing of any animal or bird belonging to an endangered species. The natural habitats of wild animals and birds should be preserved by establishing national parks and sanctuaries throughout the country. The government department connected with the conservation of wildlife should, con should conduct a periodic survey in all the forests, national parks and sanctuaries. The to have knowledge of the population of all species of wild animals and birds. Special attention should be paid to the conservation of endangered species of wild animals and birds to prevent their extinction altogether. 
द अनाथोराइज फेलिंग ऑफ फॉरेस्ट ट्रीज ऑफ ट्रीज फॉर टिम्बर ट्रेड एंड फ्यूल वुड शुड बी स्टॉप इमीडिएटली फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन फॉरेस्ट और बायोडाइवर्सिटी हॉट स्पॉट्स biodiversity of an area is the number of species of different life forms like bacteria fungi uh, fl- flowering plants insects birds hot spot means an area full of biological diversity loss of diversity may lead to a loss of ecological stability or ecological imbalance stakeholders a person having interest or consent for something is called as stakeholder sustainable management management of forest resources wisely to make it available for future generations to consider the conservation of forests we need to look at the stakeholders who are the people who live in or around forests are dependent on forest products for various aspects of their life the forest department of government which owns the land and controls the resources from forests the industrialists from those who use tendu leaves to make beads once with paper mills who use various forest produce the wildlife and nature enthusiast who want to conserve nature in its pristine form it is carried out by the following methods first one afforestation it is growing of forests on unprotected barren lands when most of the is a tree plantation movement carried out twice a year by both government and voluntary agencies reforestation it is developing forest cover in the area which has been damaged or clear cleared during exploitation separation of commercial forestry use useful plants required by industry should be planted separately preferably on waste land growing industry required plants is called production plantation soil erosion removal of plant cover exposes the fertile soil to wind and water the latter remove the top soil and make the area infertile deforestation removal of forest cover in the plains make the area dry in hot season the soil becomes loose national award for wildlife conservation the government of india has recently instituted and amrita devi bishnoi national award for wildlife conservation in the memory of amrita devi who in 1931 sacrificed her life along with 363 other for other for the protection kesari trees in kerli village near jodhpur in rajasthan water as resource water is a basic necessity for all terrestrial forms of life regions of water scarcity one closely related to regions of acute poverty failure to sustain water availability has result, resulted in loss of vegetation cover diversion for high water demanding crops and pollution from industries and urban waste and rain irrigation methods like dams tanks should be used in various parts of india